back on the subject of the carburetor for this engine. This barrel is apparently a casting and it's been machined. This part here has been turned a little bit. There's some sections that haven't been touched. This part has been turned and then nothing here. So this isn't even round. And when it goes in here, it's able to wiggle around and it's, it's pretty loose and sloppy. And that can allow air to be drawn in around the sides of the barrel. And when you have that, you have some air that's going past this part where the needle valve is. And that controls how much fuel is being anonymized into the engine. And then you have air going through this section and that can give you varying amounts of air fuel ratio. So sometimes this thing will go lean, sometimes it'll go rich and it's very difficult to control it. I would like to have been able to turn a groove in here, put an O-ring on there, but this thing This is, this is not centered in this opening. This hole is kind of to that side. So that O-ring would be exposed to this opening and that would be a problem. So I didn't see that as working. So this is called a bonded washer. And this is a piece of rubber that has been bonded to this metal washer. And you usually put this under a lag screw or a bolt or whatever and you're putting it up against the metal siding of a building and that helps keep the water from going in along the threads of the screw. So I took a bolt and I centered that between a couple of washers, put this on my lathe and I turned this down and this is about five-eighths of an inch in diameter. So I'm going to put that on here. this control horn on here. Center that the best I can. We'll put this in here. Get that little E-clip engaged on this side. I'm going to snug this up a little bit. And then hopefully what that rubber washer will do is it will seal on the face of this carburetor body and it'll, it probably won't stop, but it'll help control how much air is leaking in there and it will put some drag on that body so this will hopefully stay where I set it. We'll see how that works. One word of caution if you do this to your engine, by tightening this nut you're putting a little more force of rubber against the body. So it seals that leaking air around the barrel and also keeps this where you put it. But don't tighten that too tight because you'll be putting excessive force on this E-clip. An E-clip is a retaining device. It's not really intended to have a bunch of force against it. I've played with the settings. The slot in this disc is pointing straight out in this direction. I've adjusted the position of this disc for high speed and the needle valve for low speed. We'll start it and see if it behaves.
much improved. The air fuel mixture is much more consistent. This is staying where I put it because this rubber is dragging on the body and I don't have as much air leakage. This is running very steady at the different speeds.